In this problem, we are given a situation in which we have a dog of height 0.75 meters, which is between a light and a wall, and the distance from the light to the wall is 20 meters. Now, let's go ahead and label the height of his shadow, H, and we have a choice here as to what to call x. There is the distance from the light to the dog and the distance from the dog to the wall. Either of these can be called x. It doesn't matter which one you choose, so long as you're consistent throughout the problem. I'm going to go ahead and call the distance from the dog to the wall x, which means, of course, that the distance from the light to the dog is 20 minus x. So, with our notation set up, Let's go ahead and move on to our first problem, in which we're asked to find the height of the shadow cast by the dog when the dog is 5 meters from the wall. So, we know that x is 5, which implies that 20 minus x is 15. Now, we can find the height h by comparing two similar triangles. We have a triangle here and a triangle here. And the ratio between the height and base of those triangles should be the same. So, for the first triangle, we have 0 0.75 over 15, which is our base. And then for the second triangle, we have h, which we're trying to solve for, over 20. Simply multiply both sides by 20, and you'll find that h is equal to 1. One meter, that is. All right, moving on to our second problem. How quickly is the shadow growing when the dog is 10 meters from the wall, or smack dab in the middle, and is moving towards the light at one meter per second? We're going to go ahead and set up another comparison of triangles. So we have 0 0.75 over this distance, which is changing. So we're not going to write exactly what it is just yet. Instead, we're just going to keep it as 20 minus x. And this ratio is going to be the same as the larger triangle, h over 20. So we multiply both sides by 20 to get a function, h as a function of x, which is exactly what we want. We're given 15 over 20 minus x. Now we need to take the derivative of this, and in order to do so, it may be helpful to rewrite it as 15 times 20 minus x to the negative 1. So let's take the derivative of this function. 15, our constant, multiplied by our exponent, negative 1, and we'll take this raise it to exponent lowered by 1, so minus 2. But then we also have to apply the chain rule and take the derivative of the inside, which in this case is just negative 1. But we also have to multiply by the derivative of x with respect to t, because this is what's changing at 1 meter per second. So we can put this all together we get these negative 1's cancel. We know that dx dt is just 1 because x is growing at 1 meter per second, so we can essentially ignore that. And what we're left with is 1 over 20 minus x squared. Now, what we're asked is how quickly is the shadow growing at this point, so we can plug in 10 for x. One over twenty minus ten squared, or simply one over oh, rather fifteen over fifteen over one hundred. That is how, and that is in uh, meters per second. 
That is how quickly the dog is, the shadow is growing. So I'm moving on to our third problem. This time, the dog is moving towards the wall. We're asked how quickly is the shadow shrinking when the dog is six meters from the wall and moving towards it at two meters per second. So, we're gonna set up the same comparison that we've been using, 0.75 over 20 minus x is equal to h over 20. And we can go through the same steps and process that we went through before. And we'll find that h prime of x is equal to 15 times negative 1 times 20 minus x to the negative 2 times the derivative of the inside, which is negative 1, times dx dt. And this is where it may get a little bit confusing. So you'll remember before dx dt was positive 1. But now, since the dog is moving in the opposite direction, this is going to be negative. It's negative 2. So let's clean this up a bit and rewrite it. We get 15, the negative 1's cancel again, over 20 minus x to the second power. But we are going to multiply this by negative 2, and we get negative 30. So, we're asked what's going on when the dog is six meters away. So we'll plug in h prime of six, get negative 30 over 20 minus six squared. And that's the same thing as negative 30 over 14 squared. 14 squared is 196. And you can probably simplify that if you happen to be a math prodigy or have a calculator nearby. But there is our answer, is that the shadow is actually increasing at a rate of negative 30 over 196 meters per second, which is the same thing as saying that it is shrinking at 30 over 196 meters per second. So that is our final answer.